Hello everyone, this is Steve Alexander. I'm going to talk about a strategy today called Rings Low. The pattern that it's looking for, just to get that out of the way, is a very simple one. Um, we're looking for a pattern where the the uh, high is high, lower than the previous high, and the low is also lower than the previous low. And that pattern occurs right here. That high, this is lower, and here's the low, that low is lower. That triggers a trade to take place on the next bar. That's this bar out here. So, the high is lower than the previous high, the low is also lower than the previous low. The trade's going to take place at this. It's a stop trade, so it'll take place at the, the high right there. So that's where we get in on the trade. To get out, it goes back and sets a stop. Uh, this one, you can do this any way you want to, but I chose to go back and say, wherever we get in, I'm going to go three bars back and choose that low as my stop. So one, two, three bars back right there. And that low is my stop to get out. So sure enough, this bar here breaks that stop and we get out of the trade. So that's, that's what that looks like. Now, um, so it makes various trades throughout here. The yellow trades, uh, the yellow lines are losing trades. The cyan lines are winning trades. Overall, let's see what it looks like. This is uh, QQQ on a 30 minute bar for an entire year, July last year until this year, makes $5,900 in one year. That's not terrific, it's better than the bank, but it's not all that great. So I thought, let's see if we can improve this. And a very simple thing would be manage the exit a little better. And here's an example, very, very simple way to change that, and that is I'm going to format strategies, and here in the ringed low, there's the strategy, I'm going to turn the cell off. So the strategy, that strategy is not going to be in charge of selling at all. And instead, I'm going to use a time exit. It's going to be a certain number of bars, and it's set for 16 right now. I'll turn it on, and the next thing I would want to do is optimize that. What's the right number of bars to get out for the maximum profit? So I'll set that there, format it, and I'll try everything from one bar to 30 bars. So we'll go forward there, optimizing, check the entire uh, year, looking back and see what would work better. So here are some trades now, looking back for the entire year. And let's see what it does now. Ooh, $38,000. The other way would have made 5,900. This makes 38,000. This is on an account size of $100,000. So um, you can make 38% and that's a very, very simple strategy. All it does is these little higher, these ringed lows here, here we are right here. Ring low is right there. A lower high and a lower low. We get in right there and then just stay in for 16 bars. And there's the 16 bars and we get out. That's all there is to it. Very profitable, very nice strategy. Um, let's see what the periodicals and the charts look like. There we go. Um, periodical, month by month. It wins every month except two. Very nice. So that's the ringed low strategy.